When I think about mental toughness, I think about a story of my life from my early wrestling days. I was a junior year in high school, and I was a pretty big kid. I uh, wrestled 189 pounds in high school, and I weighed about 220, 225 during football season. Well, we know that those seasons are uh, back to back. At the end of football, I start coming into wrestling practice, and I'm heavy, and I'm trying to get my weight down. Well, the week before, I'm 15 pounds overweight. You know, even with that, most people would have said, ah, give me another couple weeks. You know, I'm going to try to get my weight down. But I was dedicated to what I wanted to do. I was dedicated to my team. I was dedicated to my coaches. I was dedicated to myself to do what I said that I was going to do. So I come in the day before the match. I'm still five pounds overweight the day of the match. I, I go to the pool. I do all the workout stuff that I got to do. I'm laying in a puddle of sweat afterwards. Finally go to the uh, locker room, and I'm on weight, right? couple hours go by, the other team shows up. The year before, there was a kid that, was weighted, that wrestled at 171 pounds that was a, uh, was a some level of state wrestler that was pretty good. And I watched him the year before wrestling. Well, he walked in, and you could tell, and I wrestled 189, and I was like, oh, man, this kid's in my weight class. And my whole demeanor just went, because I knew that Cutting five pounds earlier wasn't going to let me be at my best possible, right? So we go through the weigh-ins and everything, and I'm sitting there at, on the bench with my head in my hands, and I'm, I'm pouting, and I'm talking to my teammates going, oh, you know, I, I, oh, I can't believe this is happening to me, blah, 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 this kid, and I'm making all these excuses and doing all this stuff. And my wrestling coach came up to me, and he said, what's, what's the problem? And I start giving him the same spiel, and I'm talking to him about, you know, you know why it's going to be so hard and why, you know, that I'm going to lose and all these things. And he goes to me, what are you going to do? You going to quit? You're going to lose? That's what you're going to do? And I went, no. And I went out and beat the kid. Last second of the match, I reversed him and scored with 10 seconds left to go. And for me, that was a, that was a big moment, right? From going from mentally weak to being able to prove it to myself that I had the mental toughness to, to get through that and go through it. And that's, that's what it takes. You know, we don't always have the, 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 the fortitude to always do it. But if you don't push yourself to see if you actually can, if you won't try, you'll never know. And that's the reality about mental toughness. You have to push yourself from point A to point B and see what happens when the smoke clears. And, and I'll tell you what, you'll, sometimes you'll surprise yourself just like I did.